Hello everyone, this is the first video for the Ecology of Dragon, finally. Dragon. so right now I am in the capital of the territory called Dove and Croon. I'm probably killing the name, but it's okay. And um, Dragon was actually the less... Uh, area to open up in the BDO world as far as in North America and um, it's right here on the south part of it so let's see if I can do this north from here you have Heidel right there then northwest from here you have Calfion and then directly west from here you have come Sylvia and um, okay so we're gonna start with the beasts the list is a little long but the majority of these creatures are all over the place um, with a like a particular concentration in an area that I'll show you later but we're going to actually start with a couple here. Um, the Horned Rock Lizard. The Rock Root Armadillo. Rock Skin Boar. And the Explosive Stone. So you'll find these the armadillos and the Explosive Stones. You can find them along these roads. I've seen quite a few, especially the explosive stones. You you see them on top of these rocks on the edge of the of the roads. So you just have to keep your eyes open because they're like these spiked balls. But from where I am, okay, we actually heading towards the Blood Wolf settlement. And Okay, show you more or less. Want to be kind of like in this area here. Go towards that area. You have to be careful because there are a lot of uh, bad guys. But I also wanted to show you. So this is like in this area here. That's where you find these other creatures. This is the, what do you call it, Chira Ruins or something like that. And this is the Blood Wolf Settlement. Is it called? Chira, yeah. So, let's head that way. And remember, as you go along these roads, check your minimap for the red dots. And you'll find some of the creatures that you need. Like, for instance, here's some rock root armadillos. There's another creature that you'll see a lot, which is the marmot and they're all over some more armadillos well we're starting to see here some rock skin boars As you go along this the edge here, you need to see if you can spot these spike balls right here. That's the explosive stone. There's a scorpion right there. Some more boars.
More boars. We're gonna keep going. When you start seeing this huge concentration of boars, um, that means you're heading the right way. Here's a um, horned rock lizard. Right here, it's a, an okay spot. It's a big lizard. Here's some marmot. I didn't mention as uh, um, as specifically getting these, but these guys are everywhere. But right here is a huge concentration of boars, and there's another lizard right there. And this entire entire area. Uh, there's uh, everything that you need as far as the ones that I mentioned. Alright, now we're going to go back to the capital. So we're going to go back over here. And uh, we'll go for the next set of creatures. Okay, I'm back to Devon Croon, the North Stable Keeper. Here's the city where my horse is at. That's the stable, one of the stable keepers. And uh, the next area that I want to go to for the rest of my creatures, or the, like I mentioned, like there's a, a, a big concentration of these creatures, is actually southwest of here. So in this area here. you find a lot of these next creatures that we need. So there is a no manager here at the Gaiac altar and that's where we uh, want to head um, next. So right here. So right click over Gaiac and it will take us there. So I'll see you guys there. All right, here I am at the Gaia Culture Camp. Once again, to show you where I'm at. So this is Dregan. And I'm southwest of the capital, Devon Croon. I'm on this valley. So I'm right here. This is Devon. And so this is capital here, Devon Croon. Okay. And here we want so called you dragon beasts. We want the spike rock lizard, stone cobra, rock scorpion, marmot. We've seen these before, but we'll come across some many more here. We uh, have the yak Highland, sorry, Highland Stoneback Crab, Grey Highland Wolf, Guanaco, then the Dregan Female Goat and the Male Goat, and then the Sharp Stoneback Crab. I left behind the Llama because there are none here in this area. They're more in the north from here, uh, but we'll get to that. So as of as for now, we'll just stay with these other ones. Um, so let's go south and out of this camp here and you see on the mini map a lot of dots 
those are mainly the guanaco so they kind of look like llamas but they're brown while the llama is actually all white and fluffy um, the guanacos are brown and rough looking and they're all over Dregan you can find them everywhere here's a rock scorpion these are also found along um, roads and by the rocks and um, on the roads and as you get closer to water you start seeing the stoneback crabs the yaks and the lizards so these egg shaped rocks are actual are actually crabs so here's some that are moving so these are the sharp stoneback crab so they look sharp and then there's this round one lighter color than the actual rock around it these are the highland stoneback crabs and they usually buy the rocks as well here's a spiked rock lizard but you can only see half of his body we'll find some more and yak these big guys if you go up here and I'm actually on the other side of the bridge as you can see from over there um oh here's a a spike rock lizard little guy cute but looks dangerous but on this other side you'll see the wolves but you also hear the cobras they kind of blend in with the vegetation but you can hear them hissing okay follow this road here we can probably come across some marmots um, wherever if you see a river so look there's some river down there you'll see a lot of crabs and lizards and marmots oh, here's a, here are a couple of them they're so cute you see more here then you have lizards, you have more stone back crabs. Okay, so now let me go back up here to that other main road. On the on the main map it says Tour Valley. It's just so that you are situated. But if you actually f go north here, so this area here is really rich in all these creatures. See all these yaks. This valley here is very rich in crabs and reacts and lizards. Now if I go up here. At this point I should be north of the camp where I started. Okay. So on the other, I, I left south out of the camp, but if I were to go north, this would be the area where I'd end up. Um, here are some goats, so the male and the female. The difference is the size of the horns or and the shape, and but also the, the size of the body. So the male goat is a larger goat with curled up, horns while the female has small horns and much smaller body you find goats in other places as well north of here along with the llamas and more guanacos but this is a place where you can kill them and get the knowledge while you're getting the other stuff 
So here's the back of that camp port where I was at, where I started the Gaia culture. So now, all we have left is the llama. Um, so there's an area up here called uh, Shurikan Necropolis. It's um, heavily dense with these uh, guys, these different guys. But up here in this area, you have a lot of yaks and a lot of guanacos. So it would be a great place to get those two uh, creatures. But if you right click on this node here, the Shuriken Necropolis. Okay. Oop, let's get this. Okay. And along this road, you'll find a lot of guanacos once more. You'll come across some goats, but you also find llamas. So let's hop on the horse real quick and find some so I can show you what they look like so uh, plenty of guanacos is probably the most dense uh, animal in Dragon along with the marmots I'm going to do a sharp right over here. And up. And check your dots you on your minimap. See, oh, you start seeing the llamas. So here's some llamas. Probably on the other side of the road too. Yep. But this is not the only area where you'll find them. You'll find them in other places. You will come across them. If you do, kill them and get your uh, knowledge on them. And uh, that uh, should be it. I'm just going to once more do a quick look. See if I got everything. If I didn't miss anything. And we got everything. I hope you found this useful. And uh, I will have another video. The second part will be the continue of the rest of the creatures that we need for this ecology. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.